Welcome to this video on our series on common lab tests and lab interpretations for medical students. In this video, you're going to learn about the urinalysis with microscopy, what it measures, and key interpretations to know. As a medical student, you will see this ordered on internal medicine, pediatrics, and emergency medicine, most likely. Let's go! What is a urinalysis, or a UA? This test is used to check kidney function, detect infections, and look for blood or proteins in the urine. Not all UAs are created equal. There's actually a spectrum of urine testing, and you can choose one depending on your needs. Let's start with the most simple, the urine dipstick. This is the fastest test, but less accurate. Results show up in minutes. This is great to use in like the family medicine clinic. The urinalysis is the more standard test that gives us basic results about pH, protein, blood, and more. We can add on microscopy, the one we're gonna specifically talk about today, which is the more detailed version where we get all of the information from your analysis, but someone in the lab will take a look at the urine under a microscope and we can see casts, crystals, or microorganisms. Should there be some concern for an infection, we can then use the urine culture. This is gonna take a day or two and is used to confirm infections, figure out what is growing, and potentially figure out what antibiotics we will use. It's definitely not always necessary, but thinking of these basically, if I need a quick answer, I'm gonna go with a dipstick or the basic UA. If I need more details, like looking for infection or kidney issues, I'm gonna go with the UA with microscopy. If I'm concerned for infection, let's send it off for culture too. Okay, let's talk about what the UA actually measures. There's a physical examination portion. This is the basic appearance of the urine. This is color. Is it dark? You can think dehydration. Is it red? Is that blood? Uh, we also look at clarity. Is it cloudy? If it is, this could mean infection or protein in the urine. Another thing we look at is odor. Certain infections smell. Unfortunately, that's something we have to analyze. Specific gravity is going to tell you about hydration status. Now, we also have a chemical examination. This is where we get lab values. We're looking at the pH. Is it acidic or alkaline? This can clue us in on kidney function. We also look at proteins and glucose. This could suggest kidney disease or diabetes. We're gonna get a measure of the bilirubin. This could indicate liver disease. We also will see some nitrites and leukocyte esterase. These are big red flags for infection. We're gonna to get to this a little bit later in the video. And lastly, there's a microscopic examination. This is the deep dive under the microscope. If we see casts, this can indicate kidney damage. We see crystals, this could indicate kidney stone. Seeing microorganisms can indicate infection. All right, here are two key findings to keep in mind when you get the results back. A positive leukocyte esterase in nitrites could be a possible UTI. Leukocyte esterase comes from white blood cells or WBCs, meaning there's inflammation or infection. And nitrites are made by certain bacteria, mostly gram negatives, that convert nitrates to nitrites. Now, you cannot diagnose a UCI just off of your analysis alone, but these are pretty good markers. UAs are also gonna measure the amount of squamous epithelial cells. These are skin cells around the area of collection. A high amount, usually over five or so, indicates likely contamination or a not clean sample. This can give you pause when interpreting your results. And that's your quick guide to your analysis with microscopy. Now you know when to order it, what's included, and how to interpret the results. Again, you cannot diagnose a UTI with a UA alone, but it can help give you lots of meaningful information on a wide range of conditions. You can check out the description for a blog on the 10 most common lab tests and other guides to help you on clinical rotations. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe for more medical education content, and drop a comment if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next one.